Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I'm back again playing with scraps. So I thought I'd show you a few more things that I do with my scraps before we get into the ephemera making. Um, just to give you some ideas of things that you can do to pre prepare your scrap box. Um, so we'll do that first today and then we'll start making some stuff as we can get to it. And we're just doing a craft with me and playing playing along as we go so so far we have our punches different punches we have um, tags that are punched and then what I also do is a lot of times if I don't know if I'm gonna put something on the back of it um, or if I know that I'm gonna put some on the back of it that like this um, you know I'll take this and I'll just leave it square so I know um, you know I put these like in a separate little bag or a separate little spot um, so I know that these are blanks what I call blanks um, that are ready for me to make tags out of them so and I've got all different sizes um, just you know I've taken some of the scrap papers out of my scrap box and then um, I just leave them squared because sometimes um, you know I don't want to punch them um sometimes i'd like to just leave them a little bit bigger because my my tag punch only goes up to two and a half inches width um and sometimes i want a little bit wider of a tag so i'll leave some squared um, that are wider and i'll make myself a little stack of them and then once i get my stack ready um then i can decide you know do i want to round the corners or um um, you know cut the tag shapes myself so um, I just leave them until I'm ready to do that so I'm not gonna do that because that would be you know that's just kind of boring <laughs> but you kind of get the idea of what I do with them so we have those and then we have our books and um, there's all different kinds of things that you can do with the little booklets so we'll um, we'll go through some of those things that you can do with those so I'm going to stack everything. Then I also, sometimes, I like to pre-make some um, some of the Rita flips and have those ready so that I can decorate them and get them um, ready to go into a journal. And it's really and truly all according to um, what kinds of journals I'm making at the time or even, you know, because I, I, I tend to make a lot of kits. So if there's a kit that I'm going to make, you know, then I kind of gear it towards that particular kit or journal. So we have Rita flips that we can make. And then there are lots and lots of other things that we can do with our scrap papers too. So I'm going to grab a few pieces um, because right now I'm... I'm trying to prepare myself to get ready for making Christmas journals, but I'm just not quite there yet. And this big, huge box of scraps, they're just in my way. Oh, I wanted to show you too. I also have, sorry, I know I'm shaking the camera, um, some pre-made pockets that I made. So I have this one and these two little pockets here um, are from... Um, my collage boards and they were just pieces that were sitting in my scrapbook box and so I thought well I'll just go ahead and make pockets out of these and just have them ready to pop into a journal so basically with these you know you can put something pretty on them and ink around the edges of them um, but for right now you know I just kind of make myself um, a stack of blanks and then I had this pretty little piece um, I love the texture of it, and this would make a, a good large size pocket. So I put it in the pocket stack, and then I found this little piece that had this and this in it. So I tore the words out um, and made myself a separate little stack of words. And then I just kind of very haphazardly fussy cut this out to make it to be like a little pocket. And then I loved the way this was ripped, So and it was embossed. Um, so I just inked around the edges and then just brushed my um, ink dauber across the embossing and then you know we can put something pretty on that to decorate it and make it a pocket. So there's pockets um, and I have my little separate stack of words. Um, so 
there's a few more things that we can do with our scraps. Let me just um, grab a little handful of scraps over here. Um, like here's some, and here's one. Oops, sorry. I know I just jiggled the camera like crazy that time. And let's see, I have some of these. So let's just play with these and see where we get to. So um, this one is pretty good as far as it being in a tag shape. It could be trimmed up because you know, it doesn't have even edges. But I think this one's really pretty. So what I would do with this piece is I'm gonna take my trimmer. Uh-oh, I've lost my blade. Oh, and it's all the way behind my table. Hang on and let me dig it out. <laughs> okay, I got it. I literally had to get on my hands and knees and crawl under my craft table to get it. Okay, where did I? Oh, there's my piece, okay. So let's just trim him up a little. All right, these are the straight edges. So let's just go this way. I'm gonna trim across there and then just trim down through here and straighten him up. So it looks like he's gonna be a two incher. So we'll just cut that piece off. And then I always tend to forget that I have an embossing tool. Um, I have the little um, cuddle bug. And so why don't we emboss some of these because I think they'll be cute so let's just take and uh, my sweet friend Linda had given me all of these embossing plates and pretties to play with um, but these are too white no that'll go through my cuddle bug I think I think these go to the Sizzix and she gave me the Sizzix machine too um, but I just don't have it here yet so I guess this goes with this I guess this is broken so I guess it's the top and the bottom okay so I guess these are I haven't even had a chance to go through these and look at them but look that's pretty oh I think that's what was actually on that little pocket yeah that little pocket right there um, so I haven't even she gave me a whole ton of embossing folders and die cuts and things like that those are pretty with the butterflies Here's the um, one with the butterflies. Isn't that pretty? There's one. And then this one, I think, was done with that one. So I've got those pieces to play with. Um, but I have other ones, too. I have quite a few. Let's see. She gave me this one with the polka dots. There's this one with the flowers. And then these I already had. These are some of mine. So let's just pick one that we like. Ooh, there's a Christmas one. I'm going to need that soon. Um, here's one. I don't even know what's in this box. I haven't even had the opportunity to go and through the box that she gave me. Oh, that one's pretty. That's um, Anna Griffith. Now, this one says it's for the cuddle bug. That's pretty with the butterflies on it. Okay, and then there's this one. I don't know where the top... Oh, here. here. I think... Is this the top? Okay, maybe it goes this way. Yeah. So, I guess this is broken. But you can still just kind of sit it together. So, there's that one. And that one. With, like, the leaves. I think I already showed you that one. There's, um... I'm not sure what this is. This is not um, an embossing folder. Make something great. I think this might go with the cuddle bug. I mean, the... What did I say? Sizzix, maybe? Um, and then there's this one. Ooh, this one's really, really thick. Huh. But I like that with the roses. That's pretty with the roses. Can you see? I guess it's not roses. Maybe it's poppies I don't know anyway squirrel kind of got off on a little sidetrack there let's uh let's just emboss one <laughs> that was the whole point of that I'm so sorry okay let me find <laughs> let me find my tag topper here okay so let me close my cuddle bug up I'm just gonna pick one of these to emboss it with let's do this one 
I put all of these back. I have no idea what's in this box. All right. Let's go ahead and do the top of our tag. So we'll punch it here. Okay. And then we'll put this in here. Now, we need to decide if we want to put something on the back of this. I think what I want to do is emboss it first and then put whatever on the back that I'm going to put on the back. So we'll put that in there. Open up our cuddle bug. And then I need my plates. Okay. All right, so there's one plate. And then this. And then this. And then this. Let me put this on here straight. And this is the little embossing pad. So if you want to emboss, you have to put the little pad on there. Okay. This is not normally this hard. I'm making it way more difficult than it has to be. I'm just kind of trying to do too many things at one time. Okay, so let me just get it started. I would suggest putting it on something other than your cutting mat because your mat will slide if you don't hold on to it. Okay, so that's too much. Oh, I remember now. Y'all, can y'all tell how long it's been since I've used my cuddle bug? This only goes on there if you're cutting, if you're doing die cuts, I think. Okay, so let's try again. I'm such a dork. Okay, here we go. Now we can emboss it. I'm just going to roll it through. Okay, let's see how we turned out. Very pretty. Can y'all see that okay? Hopefully so. But I love, love the way it makes it feel. I embossed the wrong side. <laughs> so you know what I would do with this? Um, I would, let's just do it. I'll show you. S since I embossed the wrong side and the raised part is on this side, then I won't put anything on the back side of this. I will just leave this as a pretty little tag. Okay, so let me move this. I do want to round the corners of this just to give it a more finished look. And then I will ink the edges of this. Um, I am using Ground Espresso. If you're looking for these, I think I have links to these. Yes, I do. I have links to these. Um, in the description box below um, in my Amazon shop along with the daubers. So I'm just going to ink around the edge. Probably would have been um, just as cute to use like a pink or a purple ink, but I like the browns too, especially if I'm trying to age it and make it look older. Okay. And then I'm going to ink on this side. And I love a really, really dark edge. And then I'm going to take this and just kind of very, very lightly rub over the embossed parts. And it does two things for you. It's going to knock off some of that white and make it not so bright white and it's also going to highlight your embossing okay so then we have our tag ready and then all we have left to do is just to put something in the top of our tag so you can put a ribbon you can put um, uh, eyelash trim, some type of a fiber, pretty much anything you want in there. Lace. Oh, I have some laces right here. Let's put a lace in there. Let's see. I have some white lace, which I think is what we're going to need for that one. So, if I can get to it here. 
we shall grab a piece of white lace out. I have this white lace and I actually want to maybe double it over several times. Sweet friend Nan sends me laces, and oh my goodness, she sends me the most beautiful laces. Okay, so I'm going to fold that like that, and then we're going to fold it again. So we can have lots of lace coming out the top. Okay. I'm just going to take that through there. Open it up so I can get my fingers in there. And then what I like to do is I lay it down because if you try to pull that lace tight through that paper, sometimes it'll rip your little, the hole that you've punched. But if you do it like that, it don't rip it. Okay. And then I need to take my scissors and just cut that. And then we have a pretty lace topped tag that's ready to go in a journal. So there is our first piece of completed ephemera. So let's just keep going and it's not all gonna be tags and or whatever, it's just gonna be whatever I get to at the time. Okay, so we've embossed the tag. Now we have these papers here. This one's pretty. That'll be a cute tag, but I wanna do something Oh, 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 here's some of that Bird Waltz um, paper pack. Isn't that gorgeous, gorgeous paper? And it's very versatile. You can pretty much use it in any kind of journal you want to. So let's see what we have over here as die cuts. Because, again, my sweet friend Linda gave me all of these, and I haven't even had a chance to look through them. So she gave me this whole big box of die cuts. Oh, that's pretty. I'm probably going to have to get the Sizzix out because I think that might be too long for the cuddle bug. Um, but anyway, let's just take a peek and see what we have here. This one says Amazing Grace. That one says Blessed. Gosh, there's a bunch. And I only had very few die cuts and very few um, uh, embossing folder so when she gave me this whole big box full of stuff I was like woohoo that one says happy heart this one says thankful hearts have faith this one's a stamp so it probably has a die cut in here um, that goes with the stamp that's a pretty frame die cut looks like it's still got some pieces left in it but let me see where is I had a little something something to help me get that out, but I don't see it. Hmm. What have I done with it? I have not used it since I moved my craft room. And anyway, squirrel, sorry. Let's just keep going. Oh look, it's a cool truck. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited about that one. That one and that one. Gosh, there's a bunch. Ooh, that's very pretty. That's pretty. This one says find joy. That's a pretty um, frame. Oh wow, lots of different shapes. Let me see if I can figure out what this is. I guess it's just maybe like a little flourish. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. You know what? This one will be a good one to use with our scrap papers because there's a lot you can do with it. That's a pretty little doily. And, oh, there's the, I think this goes with this, does it? Yeah. That's very pretty. Okay. I haven't ever really used die cuts much because I haven't ever really had any. <laughs> so, um, this is fun just to kind of look through these and play. That's pretty. Let's use that one. I just kind of want big, easy. Oh, there's a Christmas one. I'm going to put this to the side with my Christmas embossing folder. Oh, look at the pretty elephant one. There's that one. 
very intricate details here. That's very pretty. Let's try that one. That one, that's gorgeous. So, I mean, you can grab these things out and play with them. Okay, this has to go with something. I think it goes with this. Yep, it goes with that. So, I'm not real sure how this works. So, if y'all know, tell me, because I've never really done much embossing. I mean, die cutting. Okay, so that one, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty with the butterflies. Gorgeous. Little scissors. There's a holly one. This is... I'm not sure if that's a holly leaf or not. We'll have to check it and see. Okay, I think I saw... There was one very similar to that, wasn't there? Okay, let's see. Very cute. Ooh, that would make cute little tags. Let's, let's leave those out. We'll make some tags out of those. We'll make some tags out of that. Pretty little bird. What else do we have in here? Leaves. That's pretty little. Um, this would make really pretty belly bands. Let's leave that out and play with some belly bands. Okay. And then we have bird houses. Very pretty. Let's make some bird houses too. Because you can use bird houses in just about every journal you want to make. Farm journals can use bird houses. Christmas journals, vintage journals, floral journals. Bird houses are very versatile. There's a butterfly and another little flourish. Pretty little flower. Let's see. And that little flourish. Uh oh, I'm dropping them. And then there's that little flower and that little tag thing. Let's use that for a tag too. Okay, let me see if I can find the one I dropped on the floor. That's the hard part about dropping things on the floor in my craft room. Because once you drop it, you're going to take a minute to try and find it. <laughs> All right, I might try and use that one too. Okay, so... I'm sorry, I know that it's probably boring for y'all, but I haven't even had a chance to look at these, so I really didn't know what I had. Okay, there goes another one in the floor. All right, so let's just play with some of these and see where we get. All right, so we'll need this to do our cutting. Oh my goodness, y'all. You're not going to believe this. There's more die cuts. I wonder what's in here. Oh, alphabet die cuts. Oh, how cool is that? That's neat. Very cool. Okay. Ooh, I might use these here in just a minute because, um, I have some little cups that my grandbabies, uh, from my grandbaby's birthday party, and her mama wanted me to put their name on it, so I'll have to do that. I'm not real sure what this one is, but look, she had, had it on a little magnet board, and then she drew around the shapes. How cool, so I guess I need to just reorganize them and put them back here. Okay, I'm getting it now. Alright, let's see. And, y'all, but wait, there's more. There's this little notebook thing. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's more die cuts in the notebook. I think I have it backwards. Do I have it backwards? No? Maybe these are just upside down. Oh, my goodness. She gave me so many. Holy cow. Wow. Ooh, that'd be a pretty belly band. Let's just pull that one out. Okay. Oh, that's like a, a vinyl. Probably something she was practicing with. A little cross. There's leaves. Flowers. Oh, goodness. There's lots in here. Oh, these are like magnetic 
pages. How cool is that? Okay, so I guess I need to do some organizing um, with the die cuts so that I can find things a little easier. Okay, so then there's these. Wow, these little pages are cool. Sorry, guys. I know we're supposed to be crafting. We're going to get to it in just a second. I apologize. <laughs> I'm not trying to waste time. I'm just trying to figure out what I have. There's a cute little Christmas tree. Flowers. Let's see. Oh, pretty little lady. Okay, these are cool. These are really neat. Okay. So I just need to do some organizing so I can figure out. Because this, I think, is all words. Yep. That's cool. Happy birthday. Okay. Alright. So let me put this back up. Put the embossing folder back up. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get this back in the box. Oh, and there's even more little packs in here. What are these? Let me see. Okay, so these are like little stamps. These were mine I had already. And these. This is one of my favorite, favorite die cuts. It's the Harlequin pattern, which is one of my most favorite patterns. These I already had. These I already had. These somebody gave me, and I don't think I've used them yet. And then this was a gift from one of my sweet, sweet subscribers. And I have used it, but um, it's been a while, so. Very cool. Okay. So let's move the embossing folder out of the way. And let's cut some shapes out of some of our... Um, I want to try these tag ones first. I think these are tags. I'm not sure if they're tags or frames. Let's see. We're going to try this one. That one's just, that piece of paper is just not quite big enough for that one. So let's just use this one and see if we can cut out the rows. Maybe. Let's just try and see. Okay, so on our cutting mat, we need to put this down and then put this down and put our paper in here. Actually, where's the smaller one? Nope. That might work. Let's try it with this. See what we get out of this. Okay. And then we'll put this on top of it. I'm going to bring our cuddle bug back up here. Let me scoop some of these things out of the way. Oh my goodness, I have such a mess on my desk. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jiggling the camera. Oh my goodness, I've spent way too much time piddling around. And I don't want to bore y'all. I'm so sorry. But we're going to make some more stuff. So we'll go a couple more minutes. We'll make this one. And then um, I'll come back in another video. Um, and we'll make lots of stuff. Okay, so let's just roll this through. Let's see what we get. Okay. Hopefully it cut it. Sometimes you have to thicken it up a little, but it looks like it cut it. Okay. Super cute. Look how pretty that is. Now, won't that be a really pretty tag to tuck into um, a pocket? That's gorgeous. I love that. So very pretty. So, I think what I'm going to do is just sit here and cut some things out. But I just kind of wanted to do this video to show you that you don't have to just have punches. You can have use your die cut machine. You can use your embossing folders. All different kinds of things that you can do. So I'm going to cut a few of these out off camera. And then we'll come back and maybe work on some tags or some of the little booklets. I've got a whole list of things 
um, that I want to do with my scraps. So I'm just doing craft with me's and hopefully y'all are playing along with me and making some ephemera for yourself out of your scraps. And I think I probably will at some point make some um, scrap paper packs to put into the shop so that you guys can grab some up because I know sometimes I get tired of my same old scraps and so it's cool to share them and get more from somebody else so um, like I know a lot several different people you know sell scraps um, in their shops so I'll go get scraps from them and have some scraps that are different but I'm going to use up all of my scraps first because I have got to thin it out so anyways thank y'all so much for watching I'm sorry I know we didn't get far but we are going to I promise this I'm just crafting and this is how I craft you know I get that little squirrel in my head and he runs with an idea and <laughs> and we're off on a little tangent so down the rabbit hole we go <laughs> so I hope y'all have a great day thank you for watching Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.